Welcome to one of Kenya's most well-known beach resort, the Sands at Noma. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Give me, give me them good times, good times. Nothing, nothing but good vibes, good vibes. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. So we just arrived, just landed about two hours later than scheduled. I'm sad we didn't get sunset here, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, but we're going to get something cool tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, anyways. So this video is going to start with the most important thing, food. which is food. We're starving. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> so from what I can see, we're in a beach banda. We have the beach directly right there. I see some white, so I'm assuming it's sand. You can smell the ocean. Um, and I think we have our own two loungers there. So it's going to be nice tomorrow morning to see where, where are we? <laughs> where are we? <laughs> I don't need no tusker to make me dance. So guys, we are actually here because it's our dating anniversary. So. Yeah, so we had our wedding anniversary in September, but our first I love you anniversary, it's an easy date to remember, so we still celebrate it. December 1st, 2015. So Seven years. So we've actually been to the Nomad the beach bar restaurant uh, twice before, and I always order the pizza. So today I'll make an effort to not <laughs> order the pizza. <laughs> Do our best. Yeah, yeah, last time I had a large and I was like, well, that's Because we were told it was really tiny. Yeah. And <laughs> I ordered a pizza. Well, that's really good here. In their defense, the pizza's very good here. Worth it. I don't think he's allowed to be here. That's why I keep him under the table. <laughs> These guys, they make some delicious pizza. Come check it out. Oh yeah, skills too, I like it. <laughs> have a good night. So we haven't seen much of this resort, but from what we've seen, it looks very nice. So I can't wait to wake up in the morning. It's gonna be a nice surprise, because again, we, we just seen everything in the dark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place honestly has a prime location for Diani Beach. Yeah, that's for um, sure. Also, with that becomes busyness too, but we'll test that out tomorrow yeah. on the beach. <laughs> we'll see. But overall, the food tonight was really good. Like the that little beach bar, like really yeah. good, like bar kind of food. The tacos were surprisingly really, yeah. like full. I really they were enjoyed. little tiny tacos. Yeah. Special shout great. out to our waitress Winnie. She's also a subscriber, yeah. but she was very good as well. <laughs> so so far, I can tell like the service is going to be really good here. I agree. Yeah. So let's get some sleep. Yes, because tomorrow big day. Yeah. Now we are heading for breakfast, uh, same place as yesterday, real quick breakfast, don't worry. After that, we're gonna show you around. There's actually four different restaurants here. And after breakfast, because it's the only place where we can get breakfast, we'll, we'll try all the other restaurants. Maybe not all, but most. Yes. So the cool thing is, is when you arrive here, you take your booking confirmation number and you actually have access to an app. So you can book all of your restaurants, you can book yoga things, let's see, lunch, dinner, special events, room service on the app. There's a lot to do makes it easy for you as well so we just get the breakfast menu it's everything you would expect I mean from baking to pancakes to omelets to 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 homemade muesli you know. all, all the good but it's stuff. a la carte it's not like a buffet but you get mini mandazis oh, 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 which are delicious they smell really good oh yeah So welcome to our bungalow here at the Sands at Nomad. So I'm gonna save the best aspect for last, but it's really spacious, I do have to say. The one thing is you do have AC, but where it does have a big roof, don't expect it to actually be 16 degrees inside your room. It still is a temperature change though. We have a mini bar over here, and we have a little desk, a coffee machine with like espresso pods, that's fantastic. Seating area here, your king size bed with a net, 
We have a wardrobe here. Especially if you are staying a little bit longer term, this place is great. Or honeymooners, you're a little bit more private. It's really nice. Then you come back here to the bathroom, storage area, safe. And it's really spacious as well back here. So toilet and then shower in here. <laughs> but like I said, best for last, let's go see what makes this accommodation more unique than just staying in a room. So when you come outside, you have your own seating area here. Especially in the evening, it'd be perfect to sit and enjoy. However, you have your own access to the beach, basically. So instead of going down a certain little path, you just walk from your bungalow to the beach. One other aspect, this is just for you. You have your own two loungers right here. No fighting over loungers by the main pool or anything like that. And there's even a little swing there as well. So this does add an aspect of more private, romantic, that type of thing. So for that, I definitely recommend the bungalow. Now that you've seen our room, it's time to show you the rest of the resort because it's kind of a big resort. It is, yeah. So all the way on this side of the resort, this is where you can come even if you're not staying here. So first of all, we have a diving school, the crab. And then once you get down here, you have the boutique, you have Nomad Beach Bar and Restaurant, as well as their water sports area and the beach straight behind me. <laughs> As we were going to the other spot to like show you some more of it, I just came across this and it's really cool. So they have a farm, which you will see later on, is they do a farm to table concept as well. But it shows you like yesterday, they had four trays of eggs that came through. And then they had 390 grams of tomatoes come through and 20 grams of habanero chilies. That's really cool. That's you can spicy. See, it is spicy. <laughs> but you can see like how much they're actually harvesting. Such a cool concept. Coming in behind the restaurant, we have where our pizza is made here that we had last night. Fantastic. <laughs> so and then if we come over this side, my favorite, a little ice cream booth. So then behind me is the Nomad Beach Barn Restaurant. So we have our area here, restaurant over there. That's where we had supper and breakfast so far. So now we're back in the middle where we started and let's go see the other side of the resort. So on this side, you have the pool beside me. Beach is still this way, just for orientation. We have another pool restaurant here, which hopefully we'll have lunch there. And then you have main reception there. You also have your garden rooms here. And then over on this side, which we can't really see right now, but are your ocean view rooms. So one last section we have is this side beside the pool bar. We have the spa here, a full gym behind us, and a yoga studio here. And tip, Yoga class in the morning from 7 to 8 is actually free for guests staying here. You just have to book ahead of time. Walking down to go to the spa area, I stopped and looked at this sign that says Bush Baby Feeding at around 6.45 p.m. And I was like, is that just decoration or is that real? So I asked the lady at the bar and she's like, no, that's really real. So guess where I'm gonna be at 6.45 p.m. tonight, right here. So this little area is pretty cute actually. It's kind of like a conservation corner. Talks about all of the sea turtles. They have four sea turtle nests that are due to hatch in the next two weeks. That is a bucket list thing too, to be able to see that. And over here, You'll notice we have like plastic coasters in our room. They're actually from the bottle caps. They shred them and melt them down into those. And even the glasses, like they're just using Jameson bottles and things like that. So it's really nice to see the work going back into conservation.
Okay, this pool, guys, like I said, is the deepest pool I've ever seen. This here is two meters, so I cannot touch uh, the bottom of it. But on the other side there, it's actually five meters. So I really think this is where they do the discovery dives. So you can actually put a tank, go in and see if you can, you know, if you're comfortable diving. So yeah, it's a good it's spot. A, it's a perfect spot for me to try and do a dive. Maybe that's what we'll do at some point. Just because where it's five meters, I'm not... <laughs> The, I'm not the, sure if the camera can, was getting heavy. If I can pop my ears or not. Yeah, and by the way, that was like the big camera that he was shutting with. And <laughs> I was very skeptical. Um, but yeah, so I think at some point I should try yeah. that. For us right now, it's December. So Diani is pretty hot. So like walking around the pool is a little hard. I want to put the camera back, but uh, I'm taking a little shortcut in the water so I don't burn my feet. Excuse me, sir. Uh, that's my juice. So we have a chicken salad one, which looks like it has some curry, and then we have a tuna one as well. But we like to try both, so we're gonna go half and half. <laughs> so it was a good lunch. We didn't need dessert because I'm saving something for like in an hour or so, and I'm quite excited for it. Something that's really fantastic about Diani is the beach. If you ask me, I think Diani has the best beaches in Kenya. Tracy, would you agree? I do agree. I do agree. Just the blue water, the white sand, stunning. So I'm actually really surprised. When you look behind me, you can see like the restaurant and little shops there. But for the most part, the resort is completely hidden. And for being that size of a resort, good job. where it connects to our banda. So we're right here on the beach, direct access. I just learned that my husband doesn't know this. Like, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> I, I don't know what to think right now. Anyways, on that topic, we're going to get some ice cream. I don't know if you guys know what Tracy's talking about, but for my defense, I was raised in French. Like At I, first I was like, <laughs> you would have had a French equivalent, but he's right. It's, no, it's because th it Those rhymes. words, yeah, those words do not rhyme in French. <laughs> I scream and... Screen, it's I didn't creme, realize creme it was like and crier. It doesn't, it doesn't work as well. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Thank you so much. Good stuff. I highly recommend the double chocolate. Mm -hmm. So now Tracy and I are going on a little field trip to see where does the food come from. Good question, right? So the Sands, they actually have their own farm and as much as I was like, you know, we're going to check out a farm, we've learned so much and it was so much more interesting than what I thought. And it's so much more yeah. than what I thought so, it was. So let us uh, show you a little bit of what we learned. So I'm going to preface this by saying I will do my best, although I cannot relay the amount of passion that they have for this project. I'll do what I can. Um, so basically behind me is the composting area. So everything that we've eaten, any leftovers, I always hate leaving leftovers, but here I don't feel so bad because they bring it and they store it here so that it can eventually decompose and turn into the next pile we're gonna see. So once it's decomposed enough out of those piles there, it then comes to here and this turns into your main compost composting soil. So then once it's ready to plant, they actually recycle everything that comes from a hotel. Like this is a jacuzzi. Here's a toilet, there's an old fridge, there's the back of your toilet even, and they use that to hold the plant so that way they can have the good soil and the water as well. So behind me are the chickens. <laughs> they actually have about 400 of them. And even your scraps that you leave on your breakfast or your lunch, they even come to them as well so that way they're getting real food. Excuse me. <laughs> with all of the vitamins and minerals that they need to produce really good eggs. They're organic free range eggs. If by chance I had to give a chicken an antibiotic, they don't take an egg from that chicken for over a week to make sure it's cleared. So they have a water source here for a huge biodiversity. There's a whole bunch of frogs and fish in there that they get a whole bunch of nutrients from. And then over on this side, they also make their own worms. <laughs> A few 
other things that are very impressive. First of all, the ground is not normally used for farming because it's full of rock and it's not very nutrient rich, but they were able to build a full on farm on it, which is really cool. The second thing, the water here is not really good either. Apparently it's full of chlorine and other things, but they were able to raise some fish uh, with that water. And because of that proof of concept, now they're building this building, which is gonna be basically like a almost a commercial size uh, fish farm and they're gonna teach the community how to do it. So because there's so many people on the coast living from the ocean, this will give them another food source to hopefully take away from the ocean and let that regenerate itself as well. Because of this green project here, they're able to recycle up to 71% of their waste, which is fantastic. Nobody else can say that much. So next time you leave food on your plate, don't worry, it's going to a good use. So honestly, if you ever come here, like just yeah. go to the farm. Even if you're not interested in farming, and passion? plants and whatever his passion is gonna make you interested trust yes. me plus yes. if you go you get a souvenir for free if you're interested <laughs> you if you just, show interest you can't just go there yes and that's do what that he said <laughs> Okay, it is 6.41 p.m. and you guys remember where we're supposed to be at 6.45 p.m., right? So we're on our way there. But first, look at Tracy's dress. So to be completely honest, I'm not normally one for colors, but something about this one I really liked. So I actually bought it here in Dion. So tonight for supper, we're actually having tapenyaki, which apparently is more like a family style thing. So he's actually gonna cook right in front of us. Um, we're gonna have some seafood, some beef, some chicken, I think as well. And it's under this beautiful setting of like cute lights and stuff. I'm a sucker for little lights. It just makes it look romantic. Life cooking is always a good time and I'm hungry. Thanks to you, I ate too much. Oh, yeah, thanks. Now I'm gonna slowly <laughs> roll back to my room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so for supper, food was really good. Um, one thing I did appreciate is he started off with small portions, and then if you wanted more, you could have more, which was really good because yeah. we've had some. Yeah, the last time, time we did something like many. that, it was we literally ate the equivalent of four main course each. And I have a thing where I feel bad if I don't finish yeah. the plate. So. so no, that was good. The <laughs> flavor was really good. And yeah. I really always enjoy like live cooking and, and bonus, we have bush babies everywhere. They were cool. <laughs> of course they were cool. So we're going to finish our glass of wine, spend some quality time together. Because it's our anniversary. Cheers yeah. to that. Cheers. <laughs> and go, my favorite thing is watching the stars and I see a couple stars out. Yeah. So we're going to lay into the stars. And we're going to see you guys in the... Good night. Thank you very much. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine Give me, give me them good times, good times Nothing, nothing but good vibes, good vibes Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine Every day is a new beginning Every day is a gift to hold up high Everyone has a way to if you guys are wondering, I just put the GoPro in Tracy's bikini to get this shot. Pretty cool, right? Good morning. So we had a bit of a lazy morning. 
Um, I had some breakfast. We didn't joke because we just ate the exact same thing. Yeah, we my are omelet yesterday was really good, so I just ate the same exact yeah. thing. Same. Um, okay, so we are actually with Nomad. You can actually have free non-motorized ports when you're staying there. So we decided to hop in a kayak and explore. And we might have, I might have done a rookie mistake. I forgot to put sunscreen on my legs because I was like, hmm, it's fine. We're going to be in a pool forgetting that my legs are exposed. So let's see how fried we are when we get back. Well, thanks for doing all the work. Don't worry. I didn't get this in here. <laughs> okay, I got to do some work. Well, Tracy, we are the first one on this island. I therefore declare this island the Money Island. <laughs> it's about to disappear because of the tide, but yeah. Well, one day we'll remember that one, well, those few minutes where we had an island. <laughs> Welcome on shore. In terms of like lunch spot, it doesn't get much better than this guy. I do like the area here, like the covers, the breeze comes through. Yeah, straight in front of this beautiful really nice. blue ocean. I'm a fan. So we just ordered three sushi roll and a pizza, of course. some chocolate samosas and I've seen these on the menu before but my curiosity got the best of me this time. It tastes like the Kenyan version of a beaver tail. Great lunch and I even stopped to replace my bracelet because my other ones it's kind of falling apart. <laughs> so the sushi were good but pizza still the highlight. You, you gotta try the, the pizza, pizza here. The Diavola pizza is still the best though yeah. So it is that famous time where um, we close up the video because we need to go back to Nairobi. But overall, it was a very nice little getaway for a weekend yeah. for our anniversary. I know. Dating anniversary. <laughs> Still, seven years, quite something. It is, we haven't killed each other yet. Um, <laughs> wow. I would say, here's the highlights. Um, in terms of location, I mean, you're a great location. Yeah. If you're not wanting to go like onto the main road or anything, it's completely beaches there, restaurants are there, you can walk along the beach to get yeah. to other and restaurants there's, too, like... there's also a lot of activities, a lot of different restaurants, a lot of things to do on the yes. resort. So if you don't want to like, you know, take a tuk-tuk and drive around and go different places, like you can literally stay here for many days and yeah. be busy by doing a bunch of different activities. So that's a really cool thing. And that's, that's on the plus side when you go to like a big like beach resort like this one. Yeah, and on the side of activities. So even their pool, the deep part is actually five meters and actually there's people doing it right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You can use the scuba equipment there. Like, yes, you pay for everything and all that, but you don't have to go to another resort or to another place. Yeah, everything is here. Overall, yeah. I, uh, there was like very good service. The mm -hmm. food, very impressed by the food, especially the, the pizza. That and the tapenyaki. I really yeah. enjoyed the yesterday, tapenyaki Yesterday, last experience. night, that was very cool as well. And again, and, yeah. highlight, <laughs> um, go check out the farm. Passionate or not, yes, you will be, 100%. you will appreciate yeah. it. Otherwise, like in terms of like price points, there's a bunch of different rooms, bunch of different like options that you can get, but they're actually all advertised on their website. Yes. So I'm going to link that down below. One click, you'll see all the prices. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, it's hot. It's really hot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. See you guys. And the next one. <laughs>